Let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Shin Warrior, and as I and as always, I am back with another banger for you guys. And today, I'm going over five jewelry rules for men. No one teaches you. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, which is one ear pierced. Now, I was always told. If you have both ears pierced, you're gay. I don't know if that's true. I'm not going to get into that. Because I have friends that, are, that have their ears pierced and they're not gay. So, I don't know if that's just a rumor or what. I don't know. But, I don't know. But if you're going to, you know, do pierce your ears for both. I recommend only doing one, you know, since you have one earlobe. Always, you know, pierce your ear once in each ear. Don't be that guy that goes like all the way up. Ugh, no. One ear pierced one ear pierced and obviously you know you want to keep it as minimal as possible like let's say you want to put like a little like cross earring in your ear you know and have like a stud in the other you know s keep it as minimal as possible i would just i would say that number two which is stack necklaces now i've talked about this many times before if you're going to stack necklaces, there's a couple of rules that you have to follow. Number one, match, mix, match your metals. Like, let's say, you know, you have like a gold chain. You don't want to have, or, well, I mean, it technically depends on what type of like metal it is um me personally i always do the same which is like either all gold all silver you know i don't really see like copper like aluminum i basically see like silver and gold chains um so i would kind of like stick to that you know rhythm I shouldn't say rhythm, but like in that same area. Stick to your silver and golds, nothing else. And the second rule is you want to make sure that all of your necklaces that you have on are showing. So what I recommend is having one long one, one medium one, one small one. Obviously not a choker one, because you don't want to choke yourself, but, you know, stack accordingly, you know, make, make sure that all of the braces are showing. Like I said, get like a long one, medium one, small one if you want to get, you know, if you want to do a three piece, or you can go to different websites where they already have, you know, stackable brace, uh, necklaces already for you. You just got to order them. You'll get them shipped to you, and they will take care of the rest. Number three, which is watches. Now, every pe I, I've seen this on many dudes. I ask them, the, the, the first question I ask them is, what is your non -dom what what's your dominant hand, or wrist, hand, whatever? And they tell me left. Their watch is on the left side. But why would you want to write with your watch on? And vice versa. What I recommend is put your watch on your non-dominant hand. So like, let's say, for example... 
I'll just, I'll just give you an example. For example, I'm righty. Yes, I, yes. Obviously, I have bracelets on my on my dominant hand, but I put my Apple Watch on my left hand because obviously my left hand is non dom is my non dominant. But I still have you know bracelets. You know, I always I always wear bracelets. Um, on I always have bracelets on. Period. That's that's just how, that's just who I am. I love bracelets. Any sort of bracelets I love. Um, but I always have my watch on my non-dominant, and then I have bracelets on my dominant hand. Eh, I for a while I was like switching off between the two. I don't know, but always have your watch on your non-dominant hand because I, don't know, I just feel like it's it's heavy, and you don't want it on your dominant hand. And especially like if you're writing, you want you don't want to get your watch all, you know, scraped up and all that. So number four, which is rings. Now, if you don't know, this is your ring finger. This ring this finger should only be used for when you're married. On your left hand. Your pinky, it your pinky finger is for like rings that have like your initials or you know uh, something to do with your family or something like that. And your pink and your pointer finger is is for rings that you know for like uh, for school. You know if you have like a school ring class ring, that sort of thing, put it on the pointer figure. And the fifth and final jewelry rule is match metals, match metal to your veins. So, for example, you know, my veins right now. My veins right now are, mm, I would say probably, well right now they're red, at least my left one is. Uh, my vein, I would say my veins are probably green. Yes, they're green. They are green. Yes, I'm not dumb. Veins, I know my veins are green. Every person's veins are green. I know that. Every person's veins are green. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I promise. I'm not dumb. I promise. Um... But always match your metals to your veins. Now, I don't know how this all came about, but match your metals to your veins. I don't know how, but hey, just do it. Just do it. Because your boy got you. Always will. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a big fat like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, and also hit the no notification bell so you never miss an upload. Because if you guys don't know when I post, I post every Monday, every Thursday. You don't want to miss them because they are absolute bangers. And, uh, yeah. If you guys have any, go drop a follow on my social media. That'll be on the description below. And if you guys have any comments, concerns, or anything, let me know down in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, as always, guys, stay resilient. Make your pain your inspiration. Till next time, it's your boy, John Boydicker. Peace.